And welcome everyone to CBC Podcast. It's Monday. This is the TV cast. Uh, talking about, mm, there's not a lot of news this week, but there was some TV news, mainly Netflix and CW, more Netflix, yeah. some other stuff. Yeah. Um, boo. Yeah, boo Netflix. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at Mitch692. Um, I, you might have just heard, I'm not alone today. Hello. It's been, it's been a while. I'm joined by Sean, long time listeners. Hello. I remember Sean from the old movies podcast where I mean used to host with Richard and Sean and all that. The very short lived version of that, yes. Very short lived. I don't know why. It was it I mean you can never keep that show going, but I'll get you back on that show one day, don't worry. Fantastic. But hopefully when there's news and not when it's like the Christmas time now there's nothing. Oh, yeah, it's dead as a you know yeah. doornail over here. So even even like today for this, like there's, there's some decent ones, but it's like oh, is that really it? Like, uh, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the timestamps will be in the description. I'll go over there. So if you want to skip ahead, you do that. You do you. Um, you can Google us at Comic Book Cast. You can find us everywhere here, there, you name it. Maybe not in some places. That is a baby. Please ignore the baby. <laughs> Yeah. Um, if you hear the baby, don't, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, sure. don't blame him. Blame yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I would very much blame him. But uh, yeah, jumping into it, uh, Netflix announced a uh, new Ghost in the Shell anime mm-hmm. from the original uh, standalone complex director and also the director for the Appleseed movies. If people have watched Appleseed, um, so it is going to be a 3D animation one, which. Mm, I'm not a Dubious. not a massive fan of 3D animation. Like I can appreciate yeah. it. It doesn't like you can people can get it to look good, but I always feel like it takes people a while. It's like the uncanny valley type. You know, like... Yeah, it's like it looks 2D, but then the, it moves, and it's like oh, it's 3D. But it's... I, I don't know if they've really perfected the uh, 3D look, especially with like TV now. Mm. I mean, if you look at the old uh, 3D stuff, that like I don't know if you remember the the new Spider-Man ser- like cartoon series. It was like it was right after the the original. They did the, all that in 3D. Oh yeah, well, it wasn't unlimited, was it? it was yeah, it um, was like the it was like barely any like I don't remember it coming out until like I was like, Wikipedia it, and then I googled some on YouTube, and I was like. The 3D in that just looked really awful. Like mm. it looked, the head shapes looked odd and everything. I was gonna say I, I remember Unlimited coming out. I remember that one. I think it was when Unlimited did that one. Yeah. Um, it's just like even like I, I was a, a wee boy back then. It's just like what is that? Like, <laughs> I was very judgmental. I was very judgmental as a kid. So I don't look at that cartoon. I'm not watching. It. No, uh, for sure. I mean, it's, you, you had to watch it. You know, you don't waste time. <laughs> yeah. And like, with this, they say it's the first time that Ghost in the Shell is 3D animated, but I, I could have sworn I saw a 3D Ghost in the Shell before. Uh, I mean, I can't remember. Like, if my wife was here, I could probably ask her. She's <laughs> she's well versed in the Japanese animation, but mm. like, I think you're right. I can't remember. Like, because there's so many of them that came out, right? If oh I'm, yeah, if I remember correctly, there's tons. There's. I, I'm. I want to say the sequel movie. Where it went completely balls to the wall, and she's in the doll, and um, what's his face? Ba- Bato, is it the guy with the eyes? Yeah, yeah. Like he goes looking for her, and he finds her in this weird house. I want to say that was three D, but I'm or at least part three D. But I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, did you think just uh, off of this? Do you think it's going to have the stigmata of the uh, the Scarlett Johansson one? Because that uh, wasn't well received. I don't know. I don't know if enough people saw that to that to happen, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't even know how to feel about that because, like, I don't know, man. Like, after, it just came off the heels of the the Cowboy Bebop thing too. So yeah, like, yeah, that's true. But I didn't mind the movie. Like, it it, it did what everyone kind of wants, like current movies do. You know, it's stuck to the original story. And admittedly, it changed some bits here and there, but you kind of have to. But yeah. It's I don't know, I feel like everyone just kind of really judged it because it was Scar Joe and like I don't I understand why I, I never personally thought Major was Asian I didn't think she, it, her race was necessary but well you know uh, I mean for me I'm in the same camp as you I didn't mind it even my wife my wife's seen it with me and she's Japanese and she said I mean 
for the most part, it's stuck to the material. Yeah. You know, there's like minor changes here and there. I think it just came off. I think all that rage came from like, uh, I don't know, man. Like they, uh, the cultural appropriation thing. Mm. I think that I think that took over like how people felt about that movie. Yeah, definitely. Because it, it it didn't have that big of a reaction in Japan, did it? No, no. It's just kind of uh, like it's it's cool. She she looks like her, like go ahead. It, right. Well, like over there, they're they're enamored by American uh, like stars. So yeah, I mean, they chose the right person to to do the character or portray the character. But for the the storyline, I mean, I I've talked to my cut my nieces and nephews, and they're like, uh, yeah, it was okay. <laughs> I say it, it wasn't the best. It you know for. A, a, a like the first live action Ghost and Shell, it probably sh- it should have been a lot better than that, you know. Oh yeah, since it like ins- not inspired Blade Runner, wasn't it? The Matrix inspired. Yeah, yeah well, so, that yeah. that like it, because it was backed by a major ma- major studio had a budget, it it should have been a lot better because mm. it looked fantastic. It looked how it oh, should yeah. have done and everything. Oh yeah, and, like, you know they they did the key things and like even the changes they've made, they were just lifted from like the, the series itself. So it's. Yeah, I mean, it was very, very slight changes. And, like, when when they make movies or TV shows and they redo it for American audience, you got to, like, take into account that they're going to change that. that oh, yeah. Those, yeah. those things, you know. And, like, I don't know. I think I think the social media, uh, social justice warriors uh, just started attacking the, the movie because of the fact that, you know, of the revelation. Yeah. And so I, 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 I can get it. I, I completely understand why, but at the same time, like, don't be offended with someone else. Like, yeah, well, you know, I like, and I was, I, you know, this is just like my, my wife never understood why, like, you know, like if something that they feel like that was, uh, like kind of sliding, like, uh, I mean, a friend of mine, uh, Asian American actor, he gets typecast. That should be offen- you know, that's offensive. But like when you slightly change something, and it's not that huge of a, of a change, you know. If the Japanese audience didn't react that way, then why are why, why is the American audience acting that way? Yeah, it was a weird one. Um, but, but you know, it's with, with the series. You know, it's from the director that did like the mid two thousand, so like standalone complex and second gig. So, which. Mm. They they were good. I I enjoyed them a lot. So hopefully, I'm praying yeah, that this I mean, will be good. I mean, with the Netflix, <laughs> it's a fifty fifty like gamble. Um, but if some of the original creators were involved, then you should. I mean, it shouldn't. You know, it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping people don't treat you like go like, oh, it's different to what I want it to be. It's like, well, it's a new series. It's, it's going to be different to what you want. <laughs> For sure, I think. Some people just attach uh, their their expectations to something and then judge it from that. Yeah, that's why I always say don't expect anything, and you don't get disappointed. Exactly. Yeah. The only thing you should really expect is that adaptations are going to be changed because they're adaptations, not translations. So, exactly, because yeah. there's some things in Japanese culture that's just not going to translate into American oh, culture. Oh yeah, definitely. So they yeah. got it. And like, especially like, why would you want the exact same thing? Yeah, I you, never understood the argument. It's like ooh, you want something different, surely. Like let creatives be creative. Oh. Well, that isn't that just like the uh, the Gus Van Sant like shot by shot remake of Psycho, like why everybody was like up in arms for that because it was just like uh, just <laughs> you know just a shot by shot remake of the of the original. So yeah, I yeah, don't know. Like my prime example for translation is like look at Snyder's Watchmen. Like he's yeah, stuck well, to that yeah. virtually verbatim, apart from a hit bit here or there. But he can he missed the point of it entirely. I felt anyway that like, I don't like he, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah, he definitely. I think there, in, in, in that case, I think there were some things that were a necessity for that, that you know. And, you know, who knows what's going to, like, I, I'm kind of hoping the TV show isn't crap either, but, like. No, like, I'm, I'm cautious about that show. Because it's like they're doing a sequel, but not. I don't know. It's like about the peripheral characters or something like that, you know. It's like, yeah, it's mm, like all the. I don't want to know what the police guy was doing while, you know, what no, is this going on? Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, I, I will wait until, judge it until we see yeah. something and until it comes out. But right now, it's like, I, I have no idea what you're doing. And that's kind of worrying. Yeah. But uh, keeping in the DC camp, um, do you watch yeah. CW shows? Um, I, I've watched some of them. I, I kind of got off the, the Flash thing because it was just like, 
the same my same thing over and over yeah, the yeah, same that's... villains over and over and it's like even they were saying the same thing to barry over and over run barry yeah, run it's like, yeah. it's like said, luckily I, I i jumped off a flash at like the midpoint of season one like mm-hmm. uh, way before then but it's uh, you, just like looking from the outside it's like i'm glad i jumped up yeah. but they're doing a uh, whole crossover stuff. They just had their Elseworlds, which had the monitor in it and all that stuff. Um, and they did announce that they are having Crisis and Infinite Earths in 2019, uh, mm-hmm. in the fall of 2019, which I think everyone saw this coming. You don't have the monitor and not do a Crisis. Yeah. Really? Um, I'm, I, I haven't watched the crossover. I don't know if you have either. Yeah, yeah I've caught uh, the, the two episodes. And I mean, for, I, mean I, I liked it for what it was. It was fun. Yeah. Um, just not much more than that. It's just like... Yeah. That's fair. Um, from what I've heard of the crossover, it kind of, it's not exactly how Crisis kicked off in the comics, but it's very similar. Like, the monitor's looking for people to kind of fight against the anti-monitor. Which... I mean... It, it, sounds, it sounds cool for what it is. Like, of course, that was obviously going to set up Crisis and Infinite Earths. Yeah, you know the, the one thing I, I I do give them the CW credit. And this is coming from a person that is, should be biased about it, but like they, <laughs> they are, I mean, but they are giving what the fans want with mm. these crossovers. You know, like they're interacting with the TV, you know, the show and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely, I I, I, will, I will give them that for everything I don't like the CW for. I will say, you know, they're they, they they're taking a lot more risks than like the other side of. of of that coin and they're actually going with the comics of this one, so. yeah you know uh sorry about that um <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it looks fun uh it, it at the very least they got superman involved in this so like that's that gotta be a yeah. plus which with crisis do you think they like use this as an opportunity to mix everything up it's like instead so. of instead of having like Supergirl and everything on separate Earths, it's like no, everything's now going to be on one. Kind of like yeah. how Crisis was originally meant for. It's like like uh, Walkman yeah. was like, no, nah, let's just have everything in one together. Well, I kind of hope they do because that should have been done a long time ago. Yeah. The minute, I mean, the minute they were uh, that they were all introduced, and the, why are they on separate Earths? Doesn't make sense, you know. It's like they're only other companies. They're like. Didn't Supergirl go into the same like there? She's on CW now, correct? Yeah, yeah, she's on CW. Yeah. <laughs> she right then and there, I would have just said, "All right, she's on their Earth," you know. Mm. So I can understand the uh, thinking. I was like, "Oh, you know, she was she was over here, bring her over here, and she's going to be on a separate Earth just for now to make it make sense." Mm-hmm. From a yeah, I guess. But... I guess this is their gateway to do it. If they don't do yeah. it, then yeah. that's yeah. kind of. <laughs> I was gonna say it'll be a massive missed opportunity if they. Oh do. yeah. Uh, it's... And they, they should get Black Lightning over there too, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not even involved. Like, I don't, I don't even know if anyone knows whereabouts he is in the grand scheme of these shows. But is he on CW too? He, he's on CW, but like, which Earth he's on and how it fits. Yeah. With, with See, everything else, I don't. That would have been another opportunity to bring that character because I don't know. To me, it's all confusing sometimes because, like. She's over there. He's over there. Like <laughs> it's all over the place for me. Yeah, and but um, what I want them to do because you obviously you can't you can't have a crisis without a flash be, being killed. Yeah, like, is it a crisis if a flash can die? So do they kill off Grant Gustin's flash and maybe we bring in another one like a Bart Allen or what, bring back Wally or something like that? Well, it, I you know what they should do? I mean, like, don't get rid of Garen Gustin completely, but just kind of, I mean, kill him off, but then bring him back, you know? But, mm. you know, at least one season of a different character. Yeah. Because, you okay. know, I was going to say, what my, because in the Elseworlds, they had Grant and Amel swap buddies, didn't they? So yeah. So it's kind of like, it's, it's Grant Gustin's Flash, but you're seeing Amel doing it. So maybe a way of getting around that because you know Arrow's been kind of going on for a long time now. It's a bit long in the tooth. Yeah. So to get round it, you know, kill off that Flash, but so that way you can keep Gustin, but you just got rid of the male. Yeah. And oh yeah, that would make like sense. That. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. You keep the whole Flash dying in a crisis, but you, you know, you still keep your Flash. You're fulfilling a, 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 what the what the what the story was about, anyways. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But, um, With action. It's. 
I don't know. I'm. I might actually watch this one. I haven't watched CW properly in years. The only thing I kind of watch now is Sci Zombie. It's that show's amazing. Is that still on? I uh, didn't it's, know. It's final season's coming out in 2019. They haven't announced yeah. a date yet, but it's, it's going to end in this one. Like, yeah, yeah, that was a great show. I liked, I liked it. So it's so different to everything else they've done. Not very yeah. procedurally. Well, it was procedurally, but it wasn't like. How but it was. wasn't like cape, you know, capes and like. Yeah, exactly. It was. It was. It was, it was the same, but it was different enough to actually let me enjoy it. And it's what exactly. I from the other show. But. Yeah, it's you know, what much can you really say? It's <laughs> well, crossing your fingers and I say I hope that they they use this opportunity to take a bit of a risk and not just play it safe because I think it kind of be a bit. I don't know if disingenuous is the right word for crisis. But... Well, well, I think that that's a good word. I mean, like 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 you said, like the crisis story is about killing off a fly. Mm. You know, like this is your opportunity to to you know scramble up everything and you know freshen up everything mm. so you, you can it's yeah it's it's, 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 a, it's that could be that really, you know, just take the risks that the original crisis story was admittedly like it was just all walkman being like i did there's no point in the multiverse it's not reader friendly let's just put everything yeah. together but you know, maybe channel a bit of that and, and take that i, I think it'd be uh. I think it'd be good for all the shows if they did something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Breathe a bit of new life into everything. Even if you don't like do the whole kill off a male thing and do that way, you know, you can still give new life to each show through everything. Yeah. Um speaking of new life to shows, I don't know how that's a segue in the slightest. But, um <laughs> Kelly Sue DeConnick and Matt Fraction, their milk fed criminal masterminds company has signed a exclusive deal with Legendary for T V. Um, if people don't know Casey the Conic and Matt Fraction, they are behind series like Sex Criminals, uh, Bitch Planet, Pretty Deadly from All From Image, which are fantastic series. If you haven't read them, please go read them now. Yeah. But um, I've been waiting for a Sex Criminals TV show for years. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think I picked up an uh, issue or two uh, and read it, and hmm. I haven't really kept up with it, but it, it seemed, I mean, very, very very interesting <laughs> oh it's it's such a random idea um it's a very r-rated idea i think it's probably the best yeah. way for it. not <laughs> um, a cw show for sure oh definitely not um <laughs> and it's something different like for people that don't know like it's kind of implied in the name every time certain people climax they can stop time for a certain amount of time and they they go rob some stuff and then they get tracked down by like the Orgasm police. I can't remember what the police are called. I think they're the orgasm. Yeah, it's it's something like that, but it gets all weird and trippy and colourful, and it's kind of like it's the perfect show for someone like Zoe Deschanel. Oh yeah, yeah. And I've I can been, see it. Like been pitching her for that role for years. I don't know who could play the main like, the other guy in it, but just get her. If you get do anything with that show, just get her for it. Like, I'm just trying to picture, <laughs> like, just her characters in a lot of her movies were like. Are very mousy and like uh, this would be a, a challenge for her if she's you know wanting something different. Then she would I would love to see her in it. Yeah. Definitely, it's like the, I don't think the character is that much different to what she usually plays, but it's different enough to see if she can actually do it. But... Also, it, it kind of just feels a, 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 a fantasy of mine. It's just like can we just get this own station? <laughs> bring bring, it, bring in my own kings into it. Right? Just, you know. Without having to go to like a, a weird uh, black list of set or something like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> without the weird Google Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. There's always a ton of those. Yes, but, uh, terrifying. But yeah, you know stuff like uh, Pretty Deadly as well. You know, it's have you read Pretty Deadly? No, uh, but I did hear a lot about it, and like hmm. you really can't go wrong with Matt Fraction. Yeah. I mean, I, even his like Marvel runs were like. Oh, he, he, and Fraction's Iron Man run is fantastic. I yeah. would die on that. That that thing was amazing. Um, I can't think what else has Fraction done. I'm having a blank. Did, did he do Scalped by any chance? Is that or am I thinking of something? Somebody else. Um, I will. I will Sorry. Just Google that. I'm not 100 percent Matt Fraction Scout. I think he might have done. Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, Scout with Matt Fraction. 
Yeah, see, like I heard there, there was like, like a lot of talk about that TV, a TV show for that for a long time. Hmm. But, I just, but, that was this fraction done. That's not Marvel related because obviously it wouldn't be OD Marvel. Um, but like, uh, <laughs> like some of it, his like all his writing, I've never actually like. He's done some Iron Fist, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Marvel stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Immortal Iron Fist Volume 3 in 2009 with Fraction. Uh, I'd, I'd imagine you know that one pretty well. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, lots of scripts with his name on it. <laughs> um, um, he did, he's done Odyssey, uh, which okay. is a relatively recent uh, image run. That's all like weird science fiction. I keep meaning to read that, but I just haven't got around to it. Um, there's like yeah Odyssey. There's like a some really interesting. I I've never heard of like uh, the uh, Antinodit Mantooth and Solid State. I've never heard of that. It, I'm unless Google's wrong. Actually, I, 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 think I, have, I think I have heard of Solid State. Actually. I just yeah. couldn't tell you what it's about. But no, there's, yeah, like, a, there's a lot of stuff. Fractured. Yeah, he's there's like a. Like a ton of these things, ton of stuff. When you want, when you uh, a lot of Marvel stuff. Uh, oh yeah, five fists of, of science. Five fists of science. Uh, wow, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to find not a Marvel thing. Though. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like he's not a ton. Um, and also like, can you see the comics? Uh, the Beach Planet. You could probably. Oh read, yeah. Like right now, that's probably. A very good series to have, you know. It's entirely female focused. If you want to go that direction, it's very much like feminism heavy in that sense. Cause it's just a bunch of women imprisoned on the planet. And yeah, that's, and, and that's she, didn't she bring a lot of that to the Captain Marvel runs too? I think she did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's good. that was very like not heavy on it, but it was you, know, you, could, you could see how it was overlapping slightly. But yeah. Um, I'm I'm just hoping and praying Sex, Sex, Sex Criminals comes out because that's the one I've been waiting for. You need Chip Zdarsky on that as well because that would be yeah. funny as anything. Absolutely. I think funny. it would be, I think it would be different for TV shows. So, I mean, like it, instead of having the capes and the cows, you know, this is the type of comic book show that you know. Oh, it, it, yeah, it, it's that much different, you know, because the, it seems to be everyone's snatching up all the indie comics now. Yeah, like you know, Netflix, oh, yeah. Netflix went for. Um, <laughs> He, like you should not be Marvel. named because the the guy's a bit of a nubbed. Yeah, and, and all the crazy guys' uh, yeah. properties, Rob Liefeld stuff. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that because that got announced, mm. and then Rob's kind of like blasting Netflix on Twitter. It's like, do you know how <laughs> business works? Like, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> well, the, uh, <laughs> I I I think I know a little bit about what happened with that, <laughs> oh. but. Tell me yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. funny. But, yeah, it's like, not that I was even looking forward to his stuff because. What he, is, like, uh, all this stuff that he's uh, that he's done, I don't want to see a Die Hard movie or show or Young Bloods show. But, let's be honest, like, it might be a hot take for Love Liefeld fans, but the, all three of you out there, but, you know, it's like, he's only known for Deadpool, really. And like one of the one of the biggest questions for his shows is how are they gonna make people's feet that small? It's just a constant <laughs> like is this gonna be a smoke machine on every set so you can't see it? <laughs> or Actually, like a little if they did if they go to the lengths in the production that he went to in drawing everything to hide proportions and feet, <laughs> then I, they might actually be onto some. I'm not too sure there's anybody that like humanly you know, on this earth that looks like like any of his drawings, you know. Oh no, <laughs> so, no. no the special no. effect on itself. Like maybe the guy who plays the mountain in Game of Thrones, but you're kind of pushing it. But... Yeah, after that, then <laughs> it's a lot of special effects money that has to go into. It's like how are people going to bend the spines? <laughs> like, those, every girl's a contortionist because that's the only way it's ever going to happen. And nothing but corsets on corsets and women to get those waist that small. Oh yeah, and every guy has claws. <laughs> and pouches. You need, you need claws and oh yeah, pouches. There's a, how is there not a character called the pouch? No, there is a character called the pouch. You made that one. That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Just give That's me a money pouch. in the best. Yeah, give me a pouch series. Right. <laughs> Just give me anything. 
as long as it's like a satirical comedy on <laughs> Liefeld's career, I'd be perfectly fine. <laughs> right. Semi autobiography. Oh yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else was some. I'm I'm pretty certain Legendary brought like exclusive rights to someone else recently as well, and I can't think who it was. Yeah, there's like an influx of like all the studios that I mean, the studios that I know of, and people that I work with that mm. they're telling me like they're just buying like it's it's like I if you remember a long time ago when when comics were hot, people were studios were buying those things like like you know tacos at a taco stand, yeah. you know, about a dozen. So they're doing that with all the indie properties now. Mm. Which you know some people could be really pessimistic on it. I like the fact that these indies are getting the attention that they should be getting. You know, yeah. like everyone's complaining like, oh, Hollywood's out of ideas, TV's the same thing over and over again. It's like, you have untapped well of yeah. amazing stories that, no, that are completely out there and different. Yeah. I'll, I'll, break the, I'll break that myth on Hollywood's got no ideas. They, there's three main storylines in, 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 in Hollywood that they use, and that's it. Everything is made from those ideas. So, yeah. like, yeah. or a remake. Oh, the remakes, no. I, I, I mean, sure, Disney's doing a ton of remakes now, but it's... Usually their stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at least it is theirs, man. Hopefully no one ever touches Back to the Future, because I don't know what that article the other day was about. It's like, oh, people want that. No. It's like, no, they don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, one person who actually thinks that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you this right now that uh, Zemeckis is never going to allow that to happen. As long so as he doesn't alive. he have like in his contract that as long as he's alive, they can't actually yeah. do that or something crazy. Yeah. Like that. And then we look in the uh, paper tomorrow, and like every studio has got a, like a hit out for this guy <laughs> just to get protect Zemeckis. So, <laughs> so I just don't see how that would work, anyway. So, like, I mean, it, I can you know. see another Back to the Future movie having maybe not a remake. I think you could possibly do a sequel to it. Yeah. I mean, in a sequel, yeah. Like, I think what uh, the, the movies were so of that time. Like, yeah. it, it's so hard to, like, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say remake, all remakes are bad, but, like, I would say 89% of them are. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. They, they, they just feel, like, soulless, really. Yeah. For the most part. Exactly. It's just like, you didn't really get what you're remaking, you're just remaking it for the sake of it. Because they have it in their portfolio. Pretty much, yeah. So oh, we, we have the rights to this, let's make it. Kind of like Venom. Yeah. Like we, no. we have Venom, let's make Venom. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, um, kind of the same with Aquaman. But I'll, I'll give yeah. that one to myself. <laughs> right. I think Aquaman needs to do it eventually. Oh, he does. He, yeah. I mean, ho- hopefully the sequel's better. Yeah. I, I know full well I'm in the minority with the, the, the take on that movie. That's gonna make a ton of money. Oh yeah, I mean, ton. the minute Venom made a ton of money, everything's off. Yeah. Nobody's right anymore. <laughs> I, I, I just hope Venom doesn't trigger that. Like, oh, let's just make these lazy, bombastic movies. You might be. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's that movie was bad. <laughs> Sorry. It's, I wouldn't apologize because it was. It was absolutely. If you like, I was given like it. Cool, more power to. Uh, I was giving it to for free, and I couldn't even get through it. I was like, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, send it back. <laughs> I, I don't want it. Thank you. Uh, but um, moving on to our last topic, it's a, probably going to be a bit of a sore subject, I imagine. Um, <laughs> I don't know how well how this is bit's going to go because we mm-hmm. might, might have to skirt around some stuff. But um, Marvel's Netflix characters apparently can't be used for two years uh, yeah. since their cancellation onwards. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> it's just like kind of adding fuel to the fire. With uh, it. It's like, oh, they're going to reboot. It's going to be here. It's going to be there. And it's just like, mm. but is it though? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, the, like every time I turn on my computer or turn on my phone, I see it. Something. Something to this effect. Mm. Um, yes. There is a two year, um, it, there is a clause in the, in the contract for two years. Um, <sighs> I'm, try, I'm, I'm just sitting I'm here thinking, thinking like, how are you, are you going to try it um, you, and how are you going to word it? So how do you get around I, um, it? Like, well, I mean, 
I'm trying. I'm. I'm. Tr- this is the only time you're gonna hear me stutter as much as possible. But uh, <laughs> like uh, a lot of the re- a lot of these headlines are basically clickbait. Yeah. I mean, the the truth is that there's probably eighty five to ninety percent truth in an article because uh, most people that write these articles aren't privy to certain details so they're going to write about what they do know and then they're going to put anything in a headline to get you to click that Mm. well with that being said yeah there is a two-year uh clause in the contract um no there's uh no plans for a reboot anytime soon um I mean, <laughs> I mean saying, honestly, like, when you have like a Charlie Cox, why would you ever reboot? Okay, yeah, there's, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, well, when they acquired Charlie Cox and another actor in the series, there was something in that was requested before the that those actors came on board. That certain something might be the catalyst for another thing mm. um it might be the silver bullet yeah really kind of... or the or the light at the end of the tunnel for us um yeah, that's probably a better way of putting it less aggressive than what i was yeah going for. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little bit more but... uh blunt but like uh it, it's you know it, when bef- when we found out all the stuff was happening everybody at behind the scenes for all right, let's be 78 more weeks of meetings on trying to figure out a solution to the problem. Because, I mean, there's rumors of studios not liking each other. Not sure. I get Christmas cards from, <laughs> from uh, Marvel heads, Marvel Studio heads all the time. What if they really call. like um, passive aggressive Christmas cards? Oh, uh, maybe one, <laughs> maybe one of them. They had bullet holes in it. But, oh, uh, oh, wow! Uh, <laughs> you know, but like a certain not Netflix <laughs> show. Yes, um, that, certain vigilante. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even going to go there. I was going to go somewhere else. But <laughs> yeah, but uh, like the um, a lot of the rumors. That's all they are. Rumors uh, until it comes out as truth and treated as rumors because um, there's still hope. Don't mm. take that as uh, it's not an absolute certainty, but exactly. there, there it's, is, it's not necessarily the end. Yeah, it, it's not the end, like most of these sites are saying. Mm. I have a, I've read a, a site saying uh, they're rebooting Daredevil in the next two years. Yeah. Physically, not possible, no. um, especially, especially if you can't use them. Like, exactly. How is that ever going to happen? Not even you taking into the factor that that there's other things that are in place that won't allow that to happen. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> word this without. Um, <laughs> I say I'm going to apologize right now for I, oh, no, yeah. I, like just bringing you on and doing this. It's kind of like no, 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 actually, no. I should have. I might be like that. It's... No, no, no. I'm I'm happy to do it. Uh, not a problem. Uh, like. Oh man, uh, it's it, it, um, as of right now, it, it's not the end for those characters. Mm. It's a pause, at the very least. Um, there's there's other things we have to solve. One problem to get to the next problem. Yeah. The, pro- uh, the first problem being to your contract. Mm. That you know when we come back in February. That's the first thing we're going to be doing. So, like, what a fantastic Christmas holiday you guys get! Two oh, yeah. months, <laughs> two months of of wondering whether or not, like, because you know, uh, you so know, it's, a, it's got to kind of suck at the minute. Right. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm just chilling. I'm not even like I don't even think about it as much. Yeah, that's uh, probably the best way to go about it. I like, just put it. It's the, it's the holidays that like, pushes it back in your mind and try. And... Yeah, I mean. You know, these uh, at the very least, you like just have to embrace the fact that this happened. Mm. Mm. You know, you know, like uh, you know, it, you know, Charlie Cox, perfect Daredevil. You know, absolutely. Just, can't 
I don't think anyone could say anything against that. Uh, it's... It, I mean, the it, it kind of erased the, uh, the the stigma of the Ben Affleck movie for me when I first oh, saw yeah, it. Yeah, that, that uh, I don't know what they were thinking of that movie. Yeah, I am. I <laughs> Marvel disowns that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Just let them Divorce themselves from that. But you know, like all the other characters, like you know, um, I'm in the minority with this. Is like Finn Jones. I, you know, I absolutely love the guy. One of the nicest mm-hmm. guys ever. Uh, kind of got a, kind of got a crappy. Uh, he, he, the first... got, he got the shit end of a stick. Uh, yeah. The, well, the first season of uh, like really. I mean, probably Joe, average Joe, doesn't know that, you know, Netflix gave us a certain amount of time to get that out, which gave us a certain amount of time to find the actor. And then they had to learn, and he, and this is no lie, literally had to learn the choreography in a week before we start shooting. Yeah, that's, that's wild. You know, and, you know, it's just, the shit start, or, sorry, the the poop starts at the top, and that's Netflix. They dropped it down. Um, just like every other decision, like Scott Buck was theirs. You know, oh, that was, was it? It was, it so was there. Just, just, uh, it's, a, it's a slight sidetrack, because I'm, like, cause, like, if Scott Buck was decision for Netflix, like, whose was it for Inhumans? <coughs> Uh, uh, Inhumans just, just because of the case of like oh we have him we need to get it out like the, the, the Scott Buck right. well from what I know Scott Buck was it was like a package deal for them because uh, Scott Buck was coming off whether you liked the last couple seasons of Dexter and I he came off a successful TV show yeah you know and uh, they saw like I, if I remember correctly Scott Buck asked to join that as uh, as it, as it parting its contract is, yeah, if I'm going to take the Iron Fist thing, I want to take the Iron Human thing. So mm-hmm. uh, Marvel was kind of forced onto that uh, yeah. that that gig, yeah. which is a bu- is a bummer to me, you know, because rip my children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one hurt in, so bad. Um, um, it, it made it no, I, 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 not to like just complete mm. crap on it, but you know, it, it made it worse. I like the cast. Like I could see yeah. that cast really working for that show. It's like, oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there was other problems, too, with that show. I mean, like the, with the IMAX thing, that was kind of like a... I, I never saw, saw that as a good good idea. You know, like, but, I mean, I'm kind of low at the totem pole, so I'm, mm. you know, like, what I like and what I don't like means two inches, you know? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know... It, it was I an interesting idea, the whole IMAX stuff. Yeah, it was, and it just didn't pan out. It was like, yeah. you know, it, it was an interesting thing that started, but it didn't pan out. You know, it, it's unfortunate though. Oh, yeah, especially now, it's like the the movie should have come out now, and they should have been part. Of it, but... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think you know, I think there's other things that are taking that place, and I'm pretty sure you guys are well known. The, the Eternals oh, oh, yeah, really take say that. that. Eternals is clearly. Uh, the book a, 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 a very well fitted replacement. Yeah, that, that's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, mm. I mean, I want to see what the visuals look like for sure, man. I'm, I'm very excited. Oh, like you, they, the Thor Ragnarok thing is any indication so they that, can pull off with Kirby. That, like Ragnarok really kind of like legitimized Kirby's stuff on the screen for me. Oh yeah, you know. Uh, I, mean, I, I just the only thing I need is that crackle. If they can get that crackle to work, now, it's in Spider Verse, but that's animated. If they yeah. can get that in live action, then I'm I thought, upset. I, I thought the, uh, I mean, I completely agree with you, and I, but I think that like the, I don't remember you guys the posters for Thor Ragnarok. I thought that would be like that look was like, oh man, if that's in the movie, I'm all over oh, well, that. The, the sand, that look yeah, the crackle, yeah, I, I love those posters. They were cool. It's, Ragnarok had really good posters. Yeah. I, I got one up on my wall from Japan, and like I look at it, and I'm like, "Fuck yeah, this is great." I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. I I slip up with the swearing. All the time, but YouTube will knock me down anyway. In that swearing. But, sorry, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, not sorry, YouTube. No. <laughs> no, sorry. Sorry stuff. <laughs> but um, but the whole Netflix Marvel thing, it's there's, there's a it, lot of like people are. There's a lot of people trying to put their own. Like, oh, like, this is obviously happening. 
Yeah, I mean, you're always going to get that with the, the, the media. I mean, it happens in all types of media where, like, something happens and you, the, literally the next day you got, like, 1,500 articles about, like, what yes. they thought was happening and what their sources say. Yeah, It's like, yeah, I mean, 50% right. Not bad. So it's like you can't really change everyone's mind and everything. So it's like no. And so I understand some people's like thought process. You know, it's, it's a very unfortunate timing with Disney Plus. It's like oh they're going to yeah. there, and it's like no, they're not going to be on okay because this is a family friendly service, and you know it's like yeah. Just, I mean, they literally like, and I'll be honest with you. That never really was really a, a true prospect for those shows. No. You know, those those shows are the way they're set up. They would not. They wouldn't like. They wouldn't cope with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. be like just stick out like the, a sore thumb on it. But. The aesthetics of those of those TV shows are like they're different from Agents of Shield and different from like you know the the little bit more like Marvel Knights of TV show. Yeah. See, that, that's probably that's what I would do if, if I had like the pull in the say. I'd be like, right, we take him off Netflix. Obviously, well, Netflix is throwing him off Netflix. Um, <laughs> Make the Marvel Knights brand say on like Hulu or FX, and be like, right, this is where they now. We, this is where like an edgier sort of story will go. Um, I mean, that's a very good idea. Um, very possible. Who knows? Uh, like right now, uh, we're we're dealing with the first problem, and then after oh, that, yeah. we go straight into where did these shows go? Yeah, and like, uh, and, and I'm pretty sure that. Your, you know, the listeners can kind of guess where those two, what those two networks are, that are real prospects. I mean, there's any, two, I, any. Say, I think like the prevailing theories in the net are spot on. Right. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're. I mean, the needle's pointing in the right direction. Yeah. With that, um, but like right now, that's all been put on pause. Uh, like, I, I just, I'm kind of sad. The biggest thing I'm about sad about is like what could have been and what was ahead if allowed um, to continue. Like, especially with Luke Cage and Ifis, you guys left them in a really interesting spot. Yeah, um, it's like, hmm, like hopefully, was, I'm, I'm I'm really hoping that we at least get a resolution series. Um, I can kind of, I mean, is in, I don't want to guarantee it, but like. If all goes according to plan, you'll at the very least get uh, a resolution to those shows. Yes, because there are, there are resolutions written on a piece of paper in script form, just not you know like and there's a lot of uh, things ahead of uh, ahead of those shows that yeah. the, there there were you know there was like a a dry board in our office that was like I don't know like the size of two chalkboards just characters you know of noise this is what could have been this is what it could have been you know yeah. what we could play with and what we can't play with i i'd love to see that hopefully netflix hasn't thrown that out <laughs> <laughs> no we we carefully <laughs> took all that down and like if, put in a perspex I've, box and just like slowly walk it out just like. <laughs> yeah, with our heads down yeah oh uh, no but uh like again those it's it's never say never at this point yeah. um you know, because like, anything can change, really, can't it? Like, it's, yeah, nothing's really ever. Um, I mean, this I can say right now. Yeah, I mean, the contracts with all the main cast are all solidified till 2020. Um, well, they, you know, enough, which is the two years, so. <laughs> which is two years. <laughs> but um, if again, if all goes according to plan, you know, like that, that two years don't mean nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, so it is. Just the whole contract thing. Is that like Charlie? Because I assume Charlie's ran out of season three. Yeah. Um, so is that him re-signing up again, like an extension? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. I mean, they, I mean, they uh, they were Marvel and him were in talks way way before that. Like the decisions were made. So yeah. like. Um, same with Bernthal. Uh, I know Finn was uh, the last time I did talk to him way before this happened. He was going in to talk to Loeb and stuff like that. So, right. you know, like, you know, like, you know, these, these 
the, the main cast is kind of like they're still getting paid <laughs> until 2020 because of contracts. So. <laughs> Lucky them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you know, like the, that gives us time on the back end to figure things out. Yeah, and it's, it's not like these shows are strangers to like a two year wait either. Mm. Like, no. what was it? Wasn't Jessica Jones like a two, three year wait between season one and season two? Yeah, it was about that. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, it's not like a horrifically long wait. I suppose it's, it might seem longer now that they're not going to be around. Yeah, I mean, with the, the Chris and Ritter, like season, the next season should kind of cap off that, that show. Mm. Uh, it should give some resolution to the, the character. Um, as long as it's got Hellcat in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, I've been waiting patiently for that to happen. Can neither confirm or deny this. Uh, <laughs> Take that as you will, chat, and everyone on YouTube. Take that as you but, will. But, you know, um, like I said, there were plans for a lot of other stuff beyond yeah. this. Uh, like, I mean, there, I think there's some stuff that's been in the show, in, in the last season of Jessica Jones, that might not, like, as far as I know, is kind of be a kind of a thread hanging uh just because of it but like for the most part season four it's it's gonna give the character some closure unlike the you know mm. luke cage and uh iron fist that's cool. but I, I assume like even if like say those shows finish like they still could be others where they show up in kind of like how the movies do it where it's like you know we have um you know like falcon doesn't have his own show but he still pops up in other movies, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I, <laughs> um, I know it's a, it's a, it was kind of a tough question, and I'm trying yeah, to like, think of ones that because of, well, the, to, to answer that question would be to uh, kind of like uh, risk. The um, job. <laughs> yeah, well, not just that. It's just it's it, 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 it's a part of something that could save the show. Who knows? Um, ah. um, it, you know, there's so many moving pieces. These contracts are like so complex, and like, you know, some things were inserted to protect the actors. Yeah. Um, you know, in case of something like this happened. So, I mean, if they were smart, they would, you know, they would definitely find a way to keep Cox. In, in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. yeah. You know, because... Uh, I mean... He, he'd fit... Fa- if, if Sony wanted to play Bull, he'd fit fantastically in a Hollywood movie. Yeah, you know, like... To, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, I, I know they're kind of, like, fixated on getting their crap into the MCU. But, uh... Yeah, um, I would... I mean, that would be a, a good... I mean, like they're both street level heroes, so you know that that definitely would fit the aesthetic. And the, uh, I mean, the character. Uh, oh man, uh, the character would definitely. I mean, as it is right now, the character would definitely fit perfectly in a, a like a Spider-Man movie or whatnot. Um, but you know, like again. <laughs> you, there, you never know what's going to happen with that. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, we're, we're just, just kind of spitballing and throwing. Yeah. Throwing oh, yeah, that would definitely be... Uh, I would definitely yeah. love to see... Because like, it's obviously know. it's the one thing people want. It's like, I'll give me Spider-Man and Dad. You know, they're in New York. This, 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 that. And, yeah, and of course, I you mean... Get the, you get the whole, like... Oh, if it's really connected and, like, canon, like, you cross over and... You know, like, yeah, that... Wild, like, I mean, I would uh, for that. I would definitely love to see Charlie Cox interact with Tom mm. Holland, and I would definitely love to see Vincent D'Onofrio interact with uh, so Tom I, Holland. I, like, if there's, if I had to only ever have one crossover, like, oh yeah, my, like, my head kind of wants like Cloak and Dagger and Spider Man because I love Cloak Cloak and Dagger's mine. I, I, I love yeah, show in those characters. It's a great show. Um, but it's like the heart's kind of like. I want Spider-Man, Daredevil, and Kingpin in one. Like, just yeah, especially these, the, uh, these Daredevil and Kingpin. It's like they, oh. they fit. They fit like a, it's the perfect, you know, pieces. You know, like Cox's character is so down the earth, and uh, it fits that level. Like, yeah, it, it's like, and I would, 
Like they are like the tonally they're polar opposites, but I think that it would work because of that. I think if you got the right screenwriter, um, uh, that would be perfect. I mean, you could. I mean, he, he's a. I mean, he, uh, he's a lawyer. I don't know. You know, there's there's so many stories to draw from that, mm. from like past and present that interact. You know, that Daredevil and Spider Man interact. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what works. Yeah. I mean, you know, and, I suppose it's kind of like they didn't they want Daredevil in Civil War? Or was it Infinity War they wanted? Uh, I mean, the, those characters. I mean, like they were. I mean, uh, when, when they say logistically, it, it was impossible. They, they, like that. That's true. I mean, that yeah. is very true. Because... I assume it was all Netflix like scheduling. Like you had to shoot here, so you can't really bend around the movie. Like... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was the scheduling thing is like so drastically different from a movie schedule um uh there was uh, i mean i would say huge talk with those characters at at least being in two scenes two key scenes and i know that for a fact because i did see a keyframe of 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 infinity war you know where where they those characters were in that so it was you know, it was definitely yeah. like in talk. It's just like they are thought about. It's it's not like oh, Feige hates Loeb and you know, it's all this or like you know, it's Pearl Mutter all over again. It's like, oh, no, no, they know. they get along very well yeah. from what I know. I've seen Feige walk in the door and, and give Loeb a hug. I mean, I don't know how many enemies you know <laughs> give each other hugs. Like keep your friends <laughs> close and your enemies closer, I suppose. That's <laughs> like, true. That's true. <laughs> He's just but, got a little, uh, little pocket knife in his hand. Yeah, stabbing him <laughs> in the back. Two dead bosses. Yeah. So I, I on, assume so. with... Because there's a whole the, the merger talk, and uh, I assume Feige and the studios are using you lot for the Disney Plus stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, sure. is Loeb... Loeb is staying on, isn't he? Oh, yeah, Loeb's not going anywhere. Yeah, like, he's, like, he's he's been with the company for a long time, and he's... Like, he's kind of, I don't know exactly what's happening. Like, I, first of all, we don't know what's going to happen with this, because if this this continues, he stays here. And then he just basically kind of shifts into that, Yeah. those roles. And if not, I mean, he he is, I mean, he's the upper echelon at, at Marvel, then he's not going anywhere. Yeah. It, you know, like, the two people that went, like, I, um, fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> um, his two cohorts like last year that kind of just dropped off uh, Chori, Jim Chori yeah. that that was a bit different um, Chori was almost out the door anyways and, See, like, you never replaced, like, not replaced you never like, because I, I assume you got a new person in that role oh yeah, yeah but, like, it's, it's never come out who not that I'm um, trying to fish for a like, no, no, stuff, yeah. it's just like it's never well, been. like, it's not <clears throat> It's nobody you know. You know, heard of? I don't. I don't even know this guy. Um, he comes. He comes in from in house. Um, mm. Fairly new, as far as I know. I can't remember his name, but he's not like. It's not that he's not. He's kind of like a placeholder for whoever does take this job. All right. That's so he's not really. It's not. It's like someone doing a temp job until they find the permanent replacement. Um, I don't <sighs> I, but, I, like, I've, I've always wondered, like, that, like, I know they got rid of Song, but it never announced who got back. <laughs> yeah, well, I think uh, Jim Jim left. Um, it was Afnigal. It He was leave. It was it was planned on a while back. So right. when the when the news broke that he left, it was it was blown way out of proportion. Um, yeah. And he, if anything, he was more associated with uh, Perlmutter than anybody. Yeah. It's- Pelma is is he still at Marvel? Um, because you don't, yeah, like, I mean by name, yes. Yeah, you know he's not like I've I've sorry, um, uh, I've seen him before, but not like in the last six months. I've never seen, haven't seen him. Yeah. So he's not associated. He's not. He's not. He used to be in the day to day process. He used to be calling in almost every day. Oh really? Don't hear it. You know, like he is. As far I thought he, I thought he died a couple because I don't. Yeah, I haven't heard. Of him. <laughs> <laughs> he's too busy in the White House with Trump. That's what he's. 
Yeah, I think that got in the way of. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a conflict of interest, surely, isn't it? Very much. So very much. Like, I know everyone's and, excited going, like, oh, if he's going to do this, he's going to step down. It's like, well, he, he virtually has it, don't he? Well, to, to, to be honest, I mean, this all this stuff was like set in motion a year before it is even announced. So all oh, this yeah. stuff was in motion before, you know, even before he, that Trump, he was involved more with Trump. Uh, so, you know, like, win, lose, or draw, tr- Permata would have been out the door of, you know, the day-to-day process. So, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no loss here, though, so for me. Uh, Honestly, I, I don't think uh, anyone particularly missed Permata. Uh, I don't think the no. comic side missed Permata. I don't think the movies or the TV side missed <laughs> God, I don't think his parents missed for a moment. I mean, I, um, I sure would. No. Would you face not a, not a they, you know, isn't he like the famous recluse? So it's kind of like. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I don't think every like two people seen him in his entire life. You know, like yeah. we hear, his, we've heard his voice before, but I've never actually seen what the guy looks like. Yeah. As far as I know, he, he's a tape recorder in the room somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, every, every conversation is like thirty years old. He's just really good at knowing what he can say. He's just Modoc somewhere, you know, or Zodoc. He would make a fantastic Modoc. Yeah, I mean, though. his head's pretty big, yeah. so... I'm yeah, gonna say it fits quite perfectly. Whoever they get to play Modoc, just make it Pelmet instead. <laughs> like, Photoshop his head on it. <laughs> but... Maybe change the name a little bit, it's like Mopuck. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to you make the fanboys mad at you, though. So. <laughs> ah, Cheat mode. They get mad about it anyway, let's be honest. It's true. <laughs> But uh, I, I think um, I stressed you out enough on that topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. But, um, now, the shows of the week. Just, we're going to run over these quickly. Have you watched The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina? Uh, no, I've seen the, the trailers, but I've actually had to sit down and watch it. All right. That um, hurts really good, though. Highly, highly recommend. It's, like, yes, it was a CW show, and then it kind of got pawned off to Netflix, or however that one worked. Um it's very different from like, the Archie comics that you ever read those from what I've been told. So, yeah, I, I did watch the Riverdale show. Which yeah. was... and I, I think it's very much more in line with that, but it's better written. Yeah. Like, it's, it's very I... much cut. It, it could quite easily cross over with Riverdale. I, I, I think it, it has kind of in a, in a sense of the character. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's definitely highly recommended, but it's just had its... Uh, they call it a Christmas special, but it's episode 11. Which oh yeah, yeah. isn't be... it into like a limbo right now? Production. Um, it was in a limbo. Uh, they they settled that court case with the whole satanic temple. People, as far as I know, oh, those um, guys are awesome. Though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not home sure they even never stopped working on it on that like, season two. But it's it's I'm I'm happy they settled it and reached an agreement and it, we're getting more of it because it's it's definitely the surprise of the year for me. I wasn't expecting much. Maybe that helped a bit more, but it's, like the cast they got for it's fantastic. The and they just—it's just, it's just a, such a different show to everything that's on now. It's really. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching the trailers and it seemed really interesting. You yeah. know, like sort of like a I don't know. In my opinion, like, like a kind of a mix between like X Files and like Supernatural. Um, yeah. I I, I, can, I I can see that it's yeah it's definitely along those lines. Um, but episode eleven it, it picks up on the plot thread throughout the season, which is nice. It's not just this completely own thing, and it also sets up. You know, I imagine a bit of season two that ends on a cliffhanger. That's just like what's going on. But it's, I'm it's cool. what it's, it's, good. it's definitely like I think season two is April. Chat if I'm wrong on that, you can let me know because I'm not sure I'm saying April because everything's coming out in April apparently. Just. Just don't get, yell at him if he's wrong, bro. <laughs> oh, they'll yell at me. It's Shame what they on you. Best. <laughs> um, yeah, so definitely everyone listening, and to you as well, watch, watch Sabrina when you get the time. Got it um, queued up right now. <laughs> good man. Uh, have you watched Titans? Yes. Uh, Are you I, up to date on Titans? Um, I think I watched, like, I, I got invited to the uh, premiere when I was in Comic-Con. I seen the first two episodes there, and then... I got to watch the uh, three and four at home. Yeah. I, I, you know, I mean, it, it was okay. I mean, there were some things that were like, eh. And then there were some things that were like, Robin was not like one of the best parts for sure. Okay. Well, <laughs> I can say you, you got a, uh, 
a more positive opinion on it than I have. Let's put it that way. Um, because I don't know, this is the well, weirdest show I think I've ever watched. Like it's very what's... backdoor piloty. Uh huh. Like episode two's Hawk and Dove, episode four's Doom Patrol. Oh, so it's, it's like a char- names of characters are like okay, this we're gonna introduce these people. Pretty much, yeah. And like every other episode, it focuses on the Titans, and nothing really feels earned. Um, so you, you get like Donna Troy, and now you, then you had a, a Hank and Dawn episode, which was going back for Hank and Dawn's origin. And every episode that doesn't have the Titans in is great. The second the Titans come into it, it's awful. That's when it goes downhill. Yeah. Like, are they using uh, like because I even, I know Doom Patrol and like Swamp Thing are because on this are coming on the service right now. Um, yeah. Do you, do you think they're going to tie everything into like uh, like a, a, a small scale universe for them, or do you think like um, Swamp Thing? I think D- Doom Patrol is definitely connected with the same people. Um, I think they said Swamp Thing's going to start out not connected. It's going to be more its own thing, which I can't understand that at all. Yeah, to be honest. Um, but hopefully, hopefully that Swamp Thing's good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Full faith in Doom Patrol because that, that episode four was like a completely different show. Yeah, it seemed kind of like I did see that episode too. I'm sorry, and like mm. it did seem kind of off the tone of the, the first two episodes. Oh, it's a completely different show. It, it, if you didn't have Titans on it, it's just like oh, it's a Doom Patrol. Show. Well, I, I honestly thought I hit the wrong button and went to a different show because <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't fault you for thinking it. To be honest, it's just. Everything about the episode was completely different. The look, the the, the quality of the script, everything—it was just just so different to everything else. What what's one of the worst parts for you on it? Is it just the the characters, like the depiction um, of the characters? The the, char- the depiction of them it, it doesn't really help. I'm not like that familiar with like DC characters. I'm definitely more of a Marvel like Marvel person, but um, mm-hmm. they don't fit what I necessarily know. Um, and it's it's mainly my biggest one is mainly like just like just the quality of everything. Like the script's not great. The the girl yeah. they got to play Raven is probably yeah. one of the worst actresses oh, I've ever God. seen. For anything. Like in yeah. this, this recent episode ten, or oh, actually was it ten or was it? It might have been episode eight actually. Like she says something and it, you would have thought there'd be something behind it, but it's just like. Who the fuck are you guys? <laughs> it's like you don't like the situation she's in. You wouldn't say it like that, especially she's not for a young girl. Yeah, and it's just it's stuff like that. Like Starfire is not great. Um, probably the, the best like Titan character has been Jason Todd so far. Yeah, that's what I. That's like that's what everything I've everybody I've talked to seems to say the same thing. Mm. Like, it's like we... he, the actor for him. I don't know, there's something great. I don't know if it was on purpose, but like watching interviews with him, he seems to be the exact same. Like he, he kind of grates on me. He's too hyper. <laughs> and it's like he he, get, he he nailed Jason Todd, but there's something about him. I'm just like, can you calm down? Like just take sugar. it down a notch. <laughs> yeah, it's like someone take the bag of sugar away. Right. Now, do you think season two is going to be uh, like? Do you think they're going to change the formula for that, or do you think that they think it's success and um... just keep? I don't know. Because obviously it's got the season two, isn't it? It's not got like season yeah. two and three. So I, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping they change everything up because th- there's we've only been introduced to the villain in episode 10 and the finale is next week. That's so weird. It, yeah, exactly. Like My biggest problem is like we're halfway through it and there's no villain. We've had the nuclear family in it, but they're not the villain because they're saying, oh, we're going to go after someone. <laughs> or like we're doing this for her dad, and it's like we obviously know her dad's Trigon, but it's like you don't, you never see him, you never heard from him. It's just this other bloke in a suit. Yeah, and then Trigon appears, and he's this bloke in a suit. It's like, oh. do you think the lineup's going to change, or you think they're going to keep that like um, relatively? I same? hope the lineup changes because Donna Troy's fantastic in the episode she's been in. She's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I wouldn't like, mind it being like a Flash character, like yeah, like a, a bear, like a Bart Allen or something like that. I'd love Bart Allen on there. It's just I, to I, mix it up a little. Because everyone like, now is very much like just punchy, punchy. So yeah, I, I didn't like the uh, animal uh, uh, beast the, boy. Um, beast boy, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, it's, 
I don't know, they're doing something interesting. I don't know if they did it in the comments or not, but in one of the episodes, he's, he's actually bitten someone as a tiger. And they're doing this thing where it's like, oh, I've bitten someone. Like, I, I don't know if, if I, when I transform, if it's really me or not. Like, it's kind of an interesting plot. But the problem is, the interesting things they set up, they never really utilize and capitalize on. So it's like, yeah. oh, here's the thing, gone. No payoff. Like, yeah, and it's like Dick Grayson's like, oh, I've left Batman because he's made me this and that. He's made me killing people. Yeah, I'm going to stab people in the dick and do all this. And, yeah. and See, it's, like, it's like nothing's changed, but then it just suddenly yeah. changes. See so, that that to me is like the the biggest turn off of the show is like the Dick Kate, Dick Grayson's character yeah. should be Jason Todd. That's how Jason Todd would act. Right? I, I mean, if they said it was Jason Todd, the show would be far better. Yeah, well, I mean, like Dick Grayson was more of a logical type uh, character. Yeah. Like, he didn't say f Batman. It would be that, that, that would be like a Jason oh. char- Jason. No, that was one of the first things in episode one, and that's just like, oh god. Yeah, why? I every, yeah, I, I kind of like looked back in my seat and like kind of looked around. I was like, just to see what people's reaction would be, and it was just <laughs> like, it, like in the people in the in the in the uh, uh, audience were like fanboys at DC, yeah. and they were and they were cringing when that when that uh, scene came up. I was like, this is bad. Yeah, so I understand. <laughs> what they were going for but like I, I said this from the jump with this show especially there if it was like a seat like a second season yeah it's like the, the arcs that people are on now should have been like our second season arcs like robin exactly like, Grayson yeah. shouldn't be like this now we like there's no context for it exactly so, he just came off the right off the bat as an angry uh you know angry person hmm. like you know there's like he i get the resentment like maybe but, like, the resentment, it doesn't come off as resentment more so than just angry. Yeah. And, like, you know, it wouldn't be as bad if they actually tried to, like, show him changing his ways in the show. But they don't. Like an arc. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, the, the little thing could have helped him. But, you know, um, but, you know it's like, you know, he, he killed someone in, like, two episodes ago. Near enough. Yeah. It's just like, you've literally been crying this whole time about <laughs> not about... wanting to be that. So, what are you doing? So, what do you, what do you think of the Batman reveal? Like, do you think that um, was like surprising, or was that like? No, I mean, I, I'm surprised that Batman's going to be on the show, um, like actually appear on there. But it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. It doesn't. I, I don't. I don't know what to make of it. It's just like okay. Right. To me, I thought they were like. Uh, I, I thought it was like surprising that they would just throw that in. I just out of nowhere and like I don't know there's like it's something seems off about how they're uh developing that yeah it just doesn't make any sense from from this like the last episode 10 like everything that happened in it I can see why it feels off I think that's intentional I don't know if it's the best place yeah uh chat I did say Batman would appear so calm down (laughs) calm down um, Turn it down, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I don't. It, it doesn't seem like the finale, and from what I've heard, that people have seen the screeners for the finale, it's gonna piss a lot of people off because uh, what and, doesn't piss anyone? <laughs> I mean, true, but it's like you know, these people have loved Titans from the jump. I don't know how they've loved it from the jump, but um, more power to them. It's just like because eh, it was supposed to be twelve episodes, and they scrapped twelve, and there's now only eleven, so. Eh. Do you, do you, why do you think that's the case? Why did they like chop? No up? idea. No idea why I scrapped. That's. I mean, to me, that sounds like they just don't have faith in the like the. Mm. Well, because they also apparently they also scrapped episode three, or like not like not the entire thing, but like only a couple of things were kept from the original one, and like that's the episode where they all come together or are supposed to come together. So it's like, ugh. <laughs> but. I no, I I don't think I honestly don't think they had. I think it, it feels rushed. It, like, it feels like they they announced the streaming service and they just had to get something out. There. Yeah, like just threw things together and said, "All right, well, this is a Titan stream." No, especially with the whole thing now with Deadline saying that it's probably going to be merged to Warner Media's streaming service. Oh jeez! It's like, why didn't you wait like the extra year? <laughs> like, yeah, you could have uh, fleshed everything out. But yeah, I mean. To me, that I mean, that's just like power for the course with Warner Brothers, though. Like, they just don't like. I mean, you see it with all their their products, even including the, their movies. They just kind of like, all right, we're just gonna start pushing things out, and then and then we'll announce everything after that. 
Yeah, so if something sticks, we're going to stick with it completely and yeah. push everything out. It's I like just, uh, um... what Fantastic Beasts and how they got five movies already. <laughs> And it's exactly. Like, well, your second one's not doing great, so yeah. you might want to rethink that yeah. that trilogy. Well, I think in their writing room is just like a bunch of guys throwing, like literally throwing things against the wall and just picking things off the off the wall and just putting it together. Wouldn't be too bad for the owner. But, um, now I, I it, it annoys me as well with Titans because there's some stuff they do that I do enjoy. Like outside of the the backdoor pilot episodes that are really good. Like there are some things that I legitimately like, but then it's just surrounded by so much crap that just brings it down. And it's just like, do, do you think they should have like maybe kind of chopped it like the season? Like, cause a lot of like TV shows when they were doing the, like, the first season, they kind of do like, like less episodes than what like 13 or like do- chop it down to nine, or eight. Hmm. That way it's kind of tight. Mm-hmm. I think if it was like eight episodes, kind of like how the second season of Ironfish was, like that sort of length. Um, but then again, that that would have made if, if it like just was hard, like how it is now. That's half the show that's not really de- pushing the plot forward. Not that there is yeah. much of a plot push forward, but it's, <laughs> I know I think it it needs a rework from the ground up entirely. Like you keep the cast fine. I, I can live with the girl who plays Rachel and whatever. But it's like I you you can see. <laughs> what they're going to do and it's going to feel really unearned and it's, yeah. it's going to be a shame because you, you could have done something really good with each other so. yeah well I mean it, like uh, like putting the show out this is supposed to be their flagship show to show you what the service is all about and that uh, yeah I yeah. think mm-hmm. you know and I think it's just not like a great effort and like if you I don't think you guys noticed like if you sign up now for their service <laughs> For the first three months, it's three ninety nine a month. So, uh, mm. I was saying, you know. there, I have heard that the their sub numbers aren't particularly great. Right. Well, well, like I don't like the interface for for the app is kind of like wonky. Um, I've, I've heard really good things about it, though. I mean, for me, I I don't know. I didn't I didn't particularly like it. Uh, like uh, I like the. Um, I don't know. It just seems everything's crammed into one spot. You know, I, I like the idea that you could read comics and watch mm-hmm. TV shows and old movies, but like, like if you go from one platform to another, it's just kind of clunky to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know if it's like a penny pinching sort of mentality they have, because the whole like the the comics thing is like, oh, here's select runs. And yeah, like it's not like a Marvel Unlimited, which I, I personally think it should have been. Like you know, you're saying it's the DC like fanboy home, and like this is where all the hardcore fans should be. It's like, oh, here's his select old runs that are going to disappear in a bit. But yeah, you know, I think I think it's a good idea. It's just executed kind of like eh. yeah. Um, I, I just think they maybe should have like put a little bit more effort into the show. The show that's going to like it's going to be that show that shows off your app this is supposed to be the like the, the mm. f- first show of your app that you're you know trying to push you, you don't want it to be subpar no and like especially when doom patrol looks as good as it is you know, yeah you've got all these massive names like you've got brendan fraser as a robot man like who would have thought that would ever happen so like you've got all these people and it looks great and like the, the, the costumes are night and day the titans i don't, I don't know what what's happened there but yeah I I, get, I think I think it comes down to like like you were saying it, it just feels rushed. I mean, mm. the costumes. I mean, I like, don't know. Like, I, Robin's suit is fine. Like, yeah. You know, well, both of them to clear that one up. You know, both both of them, they're fine. Um, I would have liked them a bit brighter, like not brown. Yeah. Like you know, make it a bit more red. Um, I, I think. Beast Boys, I can live with Beast Boys. It's, yeah, but Raven and Starfire are oh, no, Yeah, I mean, I, I the Starfire thing, I I don't really care. To, like you, like when when they did the Fantastic Four remake a while back, and they announced that John, Michael B. Jordan was Johnny Storm, I don't mm-hmm. care, man. Like the skin color of the person doesn't matter to me. But like, if you pres- you need to present the the character as yeah. if. You know, with some similarities to to the, the camera, yeah. the counterpart. And it's like I understand with Starfire, like when she first appeared, like there was that sort of like look, and there was yeah. a reason for that look, and then she got the costume. But it's like, 
I don't know. It just doesn't. And like, obviously, like there, something has happened now, when you can see why she's gonna get a costume because it doesn't make sense. But yeah, it's like you could have done it. Just it's just Little... make her look better beforehand. Yeah, just give her, you know, like because hmm. I, I don't know, yeah, like because she's she's got the purple on fine. She's got the green. It looks like a really old way of looking at comic book shows. It's like, oh, let's have little hints to what they look like. Yeah, and like do it all. Like it doesn't matter. They just put that on there. People will be fine. With it. it feels like that. It's it's kind of a shame, but hopefully her uh, actual suit looks better in motion from what I've seen of it. Because it's uh, still not great, but. <laughs> It'll be fine. I mean, even hopefully season two, they actually learn and take criticisms. And hopefully Warner Bros. give them a budget because they're showing it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just about to say, you think that they're going to at least get a little bit bigger budget for like the, the when they move over to that, that uh, Warner Bros. history? I'd hope so because like, there, there's a scene where there's a flashback with Dick Grayson and he jumps out of like the Wayne Manor window and does some backflips in the trees. And it's so dark, you, can, <laughs> you really can't even see him doing it. Like it's only you can kind of hear and see a faint outline, but it's like why even bother doing it at that point? Yeah, I mean that's like a, like um, coming from a TV like standpoint, it's like like budgetary, like that. I mean that was like the whole problem with the, a lot of the Netflix Marvel stuff is like everybody was like, I want to see, some, I want to see something. Yeah. Um, you know uh, anything? You know, it's like, I want to see the the dragon fry first. It's like you're not gonna get a dragon. Fry. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you definitely. Not, I mean, you're gonna get it, but it's not gonna be the what you wanted. Yeah, um. it's like, like I, I perfectly understand. Like the like you got to work within your budget, and like you know, if you if you can't do it, don't do it. Find do a way it. to at yeah. least show that you no. Know, like with Trigon, you know, he literally steps out of a mirror and dissolves from like looking kind of like how Trigon could look to looking like a dude. It, it's yeah. Like, if you're gonna do Trigon, like, I don't need Trigon to be huge. You, you can have him like. Oh yeah. Guy, but you know, give him the extra eyes and at least a hair, and I'll be fine. I don't necessarily need the horns, that like, twig sticking out of his forehead. Just like, just make him at least look like a demon. Oh, so they didn't? They didn't give him the extra eyes or anything? No, he's just a dude in a suit. See, they could have done. They could have skirted around that by just, you know, at least at the very least, like a shadowy figure with four extra eyes. And then he yeah, just t- yeah. morphs into whatever, whatever he's gonna be when you when that character comes out. Yeah. I don't know. You know, there's ways around that that kind of you know that you know just give some love to the camera. You know, that, like make the people that are watching the service go, okay, I you gave me something, I see where this is going. Yeah. I'll you know I'll run with it. Yeah. Chat. I know we saw him for like you, you say seconds. It was way longer than a minute. I don't, don't, don't give me that. Um, I don't. I haven't seen the preview for next episode, so I'm only going by what I know. Uh, I'm going to take not. a stab now, and with the budget of this show, we are not going to see a proper Trigon next. Especially yeah. when it's got Batman. In. And plus, you're not a mind reader, so you're not, yeah, not going to know what you don't see. Yeah, it's like no, I I don't know exactly how they're working on this show. But, well, you know. In a, uh, constructive criticism to the show is not going to be bad, though. Like, who knows? No. So, you know, like, as I said, like, it's it's not the worst show I've seen. It's, it, the structure of it is odd, to say the yeah. least. Um, I do hope it gets better. I'm, unlike, like, say, The Gifted, because I dropped off The Gifted hard. Yeah. Um, which is a shame, because I really liked what it did in the second half of that season. But like it's, yeah, it, it kind of it's, it's actually probably not too dissimilar to how that show went. Like a bit slow in the start, it started to pick up, and then it just went back down again. But... Like a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, An emotional. Yeah, but it definitely wasn't emotional roller coaster. It's like, oh yeah, oh. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it, it's Titans. I. I mean, uh, um, from what I've heard with the finale, I'm not looking forward to it. But like, luckily, I'm going to have like two weeks to compose my thoughts on that and talk about it. Uh, I'll definitely go ahead and sit through it and watch a couple of more episodes and see like if mm. I'll try to push through it. So I was going to say the, for for some episode like the Hank and Dawn episode, which I I hate the name of the episode. It just sounds like an autocorrect version of Pork and Dove. <laughs> um, that episode was great. Uh, it's, it's not as good as the Doom Patrol one, but they they did it really well. And like, even though some things I weren't particularly clear on, but I've I've got them cleared up for me now. 
No, did, did you like those costumes, the Hawk and Dove? Not particularly. Too, um, too different, or just that? It's not a different. I think it's just more the quality wise. I don't know mm. something like the, the capes, the capes especially. They it just looks. There's something about it. they look really stiff. <laughs> like they made out of plastic or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they are. But it's just like I understand like they use them to like cut people and everything. But it's like I, I don't know. There's something about those suits that look off. Like especially like if you put them next to the rubbing suit, like you can tell everything went into that. And then yeah. everyone else is kind of like, ah, oh, no, that'd be, that be that's fine. It's like yeah. I, I saw pictures of it, but I didn't see it in motion. So mm. it it looks the same in motion as in dozen stills. Really, no. it doesn't look. Like, it tells me all I need to know. Yeah, like <laughs> Dove's cape just looks like it sits on her back in one scene. It's just like oh, uh, yeah. it doesn't really I, flow. But... I just I hope I hope they get a bigger budget. Like you know that so, they can work with. You know, like maybe they're working within the, the budget, and that's probably why all these are happening because that's what usually happens. Oh, yeah, with yeah. stuff. But you know, if you got a good script or you know good good actors, a lot of that stuff can be worked around. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, the first season of Daredevil had a guy in a, in a fucking uh, sorry, in a combat boots, uh, black pants, and a, a ski mask over his head. So it's like, yeah, but that, you know. I love that look. It but, looks so yeah, good. especially in season but, three as well. It was nice having that suit. Well, it, yeah, I, I love that suit. Mm. Uh, and, but like it, the budget, the they work within the budgets of like, and they just had strong, strong scripts and strong, you know, yeah, you know, care, you know, actors and stuff like that. Yeah, you so know, you, you can forgive a lot of things when everything else is raised above. It. Exactly. It's like, I don't mind that so much, but because this makes up for it, like, you know, it's, but and it, I'd, I'd be the same with Titans if they. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm on board with the um, the shows. I just want to see uh, like progression, you know, like. Uh, yeah, yeah. You I know, want I to earn progression. Is my main. Exactly. Cause, yeah. Because like, <laughs> there was a line. I think it was in episode ten. There, there is a reveal between Starfire and Raven, and Starfire's like, "Oh, this girl that I love," and it's like, "You, we've barely seen a relationship between you two characters." Like and it's not say. believable in the slightest, <laughs> and I just had to pause it and laugh. It's like who, like who actually sat there and thought, "Yep, that works." That works, yeah. Because <laughs> like, have you read your own show? I don't think you have. Yeah, it's, it's a bit, I'm not familiar with like the screenwriters of the show, but like that definitely does not sound good at all. No, it's, and it's just, just little stuff like that peppered throughout. It's like, hmm, really. There was also um oh what was it? There's a makeup error, a continuity error in the last episode, and I was like, I spotted that. Like, you can't hide that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like, help us in a really prominent place as well. It's just like, hmm, uh, see. see stuff like that. I can usually just like, all right, whatever, because that that stuff. Yeah, like know, it, it doesn't forgivable. Like, you know, especially like Shawshank Redemption, one of the best films ever made. And it's like it's riddled with continuity errors. Like, oh yeah, like, it's so much so the DVD like. The case I have has got like the list of every spot. <laughs> you know, it's like you know, just just own it. It doesn't really affect much, but exactly, you know, it's just, just find a spot out. It's like, they, and it, it's not even like a tiny one. It's a massive thing as well. It's like, did you forget? <laughs> no. Forget to put a shirt on or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're running out of daylight. Let, let's, let's get this done quick. <laughs> like but, the moon is in the background. <laughs> pretty much, I mean, might as well be. But yeah, it's. Are, are you looking forward to any of the other shows? Though? Uh, Doom Patrol is definitely the one I'm looking forward to, and thank God they moved it up to March. Cause, yeah, uh, I'm definitely. I seen pictures of that, and I'm like, I'm definitely interested so, in seeing where that goes. It's it's the right kind of different that I think DC needs. It's the same with like New Gods. Like, give make that movie now. Now, yeah, like, I, yeah. please. I like, couldn't weird, agree with you more on that. <laughs> but weird Kirby space stuff in any comic is is my jam, and I will be mm. there. Like, it, it could be bad, and I would not care. <laughs> just be like, just give uh, let's put it this way: If I'll see a guy in the toilet, as long as it's surrounded by Kirby, I, I'm good, man. Just oh, yeah. drop it in, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just give me Kirby, please. Give the man his Jews. He's long overdue. Yeah. But um, I think that's gonna bring us to the end of this week's episode. I think this is good. the length. This is gonna make up for me possibly skipping tomorrow's show. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, thank you, chat for joining thanks everyone thank you. YouTube and where anywhere listening uh, thank you for joining me on such a short whim 
I know no it's problem. really like spur of the minute. Um, yes. Yeah, yes. Um, I apologize again for the. Uh, don't the, bother us. The, the Netflix stuff because it's kind of like, <laughs> it's like no problem, no problem. Uh, and anytime you need, like, if you guys don't want me on, I'm on. Man. Oh yeah, def- I'll I'll get you back definitely. It's and just, chat, yeah. if you want me on, vote. <laughs> A I'm Y coming. or an N, yeah or no. <laughs> Not, I might like, not necessarily pay attention to the vote, but yeah, vote, vote yeah. Anyway. it's just interesting. To, you know. Yeah, I say like, it's 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 nice to have um a more of an insider perspective on everything. Yeah. you know, I, I see you guys are Giants fans of the series, and we appreciate that. Um, oh yeah, uh, our, as our fans, you know, like. Uh, you know, just send their send the love to the uh, the actors and yes. You know. Wish wish Cox and Ritter a happy birthday. Yeah, it is yeah. Birthday. And we will see them again. Oh, I say will. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> crossing our fingers. Yeah. So. As long as the wind blows in the right direction. <laughs> so um, yeah. So thanks again, everyone, for listening, watching. Thank you. Twitch. And I'll be back. We'll be back at some point. So. Toodles. <laughs>